everyone, it's Happy Mail Queen. I have another project share for you guys. And uh, it's just a couple of things that um, I created today and I need to send out my Happy Mail. So uh, this is the last day that I need to complete everything because I already scheduled for a pickup tomorrow. <laughs> so that way um, I know to finish. So anyway, um, for my first project, I did use an SVG file, uh, and I've made it before, but I need to, I wanted to create another one, and it is the uh, gumball machine. So here is the one I made, and again, I'm using the Maggie Holmes Garden Party, and I love this beautiful floral. And this time, the only thing different that I did this time around, because I've made several of these, you guys know, <laughs> I did do some stitching. I don't know if you noticed, but I did do some stitching at the bottom right here before I assembled it. I also did some stitching across right here and also um, around the periphery here. And then also at the top, as you can see there, and um, I basically put it together. Um, if you guys haven't seen my video, I'll leave the link in the description box because um, I did do a process video when I created um, this uh, gumball machine in the past. So anyway, uh, I did use my new pom-pom trims from Joann's. Um, oh, and this one here, I did use a die because I did like the stitched look since I kind of stitched um, this particular one. So I went ahead and used a die for the circle instead of using the SVG file. Um, what else? Yeah, so it's pretty much the same uh, like before and I put a bling on top and then I put my initials and I did make this um, super sturdy on the bottom and I think it came out so cute and so simple and elegant I like making mine super simple you guys and I did um, put some beads in there some beads that were gifted to me by uh, Bernadette recently so I thought it went perfectly with this little project so there's that and then I did create a card and I love the way my card came out I used uh, several dies you guys so I did use um, actually a card base from Michael's, but then I cut it down to size because my card is maybe, let's see, a four and a half by five and a half in size. And it's a shaker card, so here it is. I love the way it came out. I think it's so pretty. and. Um, yeah, did lots here. So I did use uh, a die from my stash and I don't even remember uh, what die this is. I think I might have gotten it from Tuesday morning. I'm not sure. Uh, apparently I forgot to label it, so I have no idea. But I basically just used the frame because it does have some stitching, like very, very tiny. I don't even know if you can see it because I ended up... Um, using a uh, glittered cardstock. I did use this La La Land uh, crafts and it's called Large Teapot and that's the teapot that you see here um, and it comes also with the teacup. I thought that was super cute and I don't know what I did with the die so I can't show you right now. Um, I did use this vintage tea party um, word dies um, from uh, Sarah Davis and I used the terrific and then the I just um, cut out the your so I can put your terrific your terrific so I did use those dies and from Alina craft I used the happy birthday die um, so it's this set right here and I'm not gonna put the links in the description box guys because I did use quite a bit of dies um, but if you're interested in some of the dies and just let me know. So this is called the Party Caps and I used um, this one right here, this little guy right here and 
the little birthday um, hat, the larger one, and then also the balloon. So love this die. Thank you, Sophia. Sophia uh, Paper Sweets gave this to me. And uh, what else did I use? And then I used the wonky stitching to uh, line the inside of the uh, card. I used the larger wonky uh, rectangle. So um, I think it came out so cute and I just used, um, you know, just different sequins. Um, I didn't go crazy with the sequins because I still wanted, um, I wanted it to be a shaker but not too crazy busy in the background. I think it still came out cute even though it is super busy um, in the, you know, the background. Um, but I, um, I, I was, you know, you can still see it. And what I love about this balloon cluster right here, if you guys see two of them are acetate. I am loving you guys. I'm loving using acetate. It's just my thing right now. Um, you know, whether I'm making bows, I'm just adding it to, you know, a lot of my projects right now. And then um, this beautiful trim here from uh, this one right here which I think I got at uh, Joann's too. Sorry for the glare. And what else? I think that's basically it. I did pop it up on um, five millimeter foam so that um, I can put lots of bits in there. And I did um, put a little drop. Um, I think this um, popped out of something that I die cut. <laughs> And anyway, use some Alina Craft bling, and I use some bling in the corners right here too, just to, you know, just add more to it. And then in the inside, I haven't written on it yet, but I did use this ledger uh, cardstock from um, the Maggie Holmes collection, the garden party. And then here's my little animal guy, and it says happy birthday on it, and then the back just looks like that. So I love the way this came out. I think it came out so, so stinking cute. Thank you for watching, guys, and stay tuned. I'm going to try to come back and uh, do a small haul. So um, thank you so much for, you know, subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, and please feel free to leave me a comment. I hope you guys like my project for today, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.